when will William stop leaking stories to the UK media just to embiggen himself? Just so he can get positive press. <laughs> My family, when will the palace stop lying to the public? When will the media say enough, enough, enough being manipulated by Kensington Palace who are known to be leaking anti-Harry and Meghan stories to the press and selling positive stories about William to the UK media to get good press. For William, that is. My family today, we shall expose the lies coming in from Kensington Palace, headed by William. And here's what happened. Now, People Magazine published an article titled Prince William Surprises Hospital Staff with a Visit and is Welcomed with Royal Themed Cupcakes. <laughs> You know, let me repeat that. Let me say this. Let me say that again. Allow me to say that again for those who may not have grasped this. Prince William surprises, surprise staff at the hospital with a visit. Surprise, it's me. I'm William. I'm here. And then William is welcomed with royal themed cupcakes by staff at the hospital that he went to surprise. <laughs> I mean, come on, come on, come on. You know, even the person who wrote this article, I mean, these people must truly think its readers are not intelligent or smart. Truly, truly, you know, how do you go to a surprise party as a member of the royal family? And then in that surprise, you know, in a surprise, no one knows what's going to happen. Because you're going there to surprise people. You're the person who's surprising someone. In this case, William is going to surprise hospital staff. And magically, ironically, you know, they must have this power of knowing what's going to happen. They had a vision that William was coming to the hospital, surprised them, and they made royal themed cupcakes. <laughs> That you have to spread positive press about William and Kay Milton. We get that. We get that. But at least when you're doing it, at least, you know, make it click. Make it something that people can't or won't see it as being manipulation, won't see it as being lies, won't see it as you not being genuine. You know? And it's clear what the royals always seek, PR. They are not genuine. And this, you know, article from people and that the UK media are also selling that William surprised staff at the hospital, at Ipswich Hospital, that is. These lies are being exposed. And my family, I want to share with you what Keiza said. I like Keiza's opinion. And it happened that William was exceptionally rude to the woman who baked him cupcakes. Now, here's what happened. Late last week, 
Prince William made a surprise <laughs> visit to an Ipswich hospital and an ambulance center. Surprise meaning that it was unannounced and presumably William did not bring anyone from the raw rotor with him. And William and Kim Milton used to try to cut out the rotor on the events all the time. They would bring someone in-house to post photos on social media. And I'm sure that's what happened here. And William likely did not want to get caught out like he did recently on the food bank visit, food bank visit, where he came there with a large number of reporters, Royal Rotor. And then in that food bank, he was caught on video that he did not bring anything, even food, to a food bank. William did not even share the link at the time of exactly how the public could donate to the food bank which he and Kate went to. And clearly, he did not like that. As you all know, William and Kate arrived empty-handed and brought along a half a dozen photographers for their poverty tourism. And William still showed up empty-handed to this Ipswich hospital. Empty-handed. And it wasn't even a surprise to the emergency care workers either. Because one woman brought cupcakes for William because they knew he was coming. So this manipulation coming from Kensington Palace and the media to prop up William. My family, we are just fed up with the lies, manipulation coming in from William's office, from Kensington Palace, headed by Prince William. And William did not bring anything in his PR visit to the hospital. That's what, that's how it always is. Don't forget, Right now, William is in charge of the Duchy of Cornwall that brings in an annual revenue of £20 million. And still he came empty-handed to the hospital. And William was rude to the woman who made him cupcakes, who was kind enough to bring cupcakes for William because she knew that William was coming. So it was not a surprise. Lies and manipulation from the media and also from Kensington Palace, headed by Prince William from Kensington Palace. And my family, something is just wrong with William. Something is seriously wrong with him. My family, kindly please hear how the media has been briefed to portray William. Hear this please kindly. The Prince of Wales proved he is ripping up the Roru book when it comes to formality as he surprised a group of school children with a video call during an engagement earlier this week first of all a video call is called an engagement it's disgusting really it's disgusting and sad really and when we call them lazy it's clear we are telling the truth about them very much clear you know and my family also they say that william is ripping up the 
rule rule book by family. When they said the same thing about Meghan Markle, they always accused her of breaking rule protocol and then went after her, insulting her, abusing her. My family, but for William, it's okay. You know? For William, it's okay. They say. Now, in a video posted on TikTok by 18 year old Hannah Wilkinson, William appears on a people's phone screen while sitting with one of their mothers. You know? William was on the video call with Kelly Gasking, a service delivery manager at the East of England Ambulance Services, who had made a batch of raw themed cupcakes for his visit. A video of the call shows the children from Colchester in Essex laughing with William. Who was on a surprise informal visit to the hospital and ambulance station and my family let me cut what happened short to what William said to the young boy about his mother who made William cupcakes your mother is feeding me her cakes and they are not very good. That's what William said. Your cakes are not very good. My family, why can't you just appreciate someone's noble gesture of making you cupcakes? Why can't you say thank you? Thank you. For once in William's life, just say thank you. Listen, I know that William is used to having servants doing everything for him. Washing his shoes, brushing his shoes, you know, buying him new shoes. I know he is used to getting everything he wants. Luxury, money. He is now making 20 million pounds a year. From the Duchy of Cornwall. I know he gets what he wants. But can't William. Just say thank you. Thank you. To the woman for the noble gesture. Of making you cupcakes. And it. Was not a surprise visit. It wasn't. Because clearly. Then how did the woman know that William. You know. How did the woman know, know how to make Roll themed cupcakes, as they call it. How did she know how to do that? Because she knew obviously that William was coming, and that's why she made roll themed cupcakes. Because she knew, so it was not a surprise. And my family, I'm so sick and tired of the constant manipulation by the media and also by William's office to give. Positive press to William. I'm sick and tired of the double standards that Meghan was shown as being a mixed race woman compared to the white members of her family. I'm sick of the double standards. For William, he's praised in what they call ripping up the raw rule book. But for Meghan, she broke raw protocol by doing what? Closing her own cardo. Becomes a scandal in the UK. That is spoken of for days, days, months, and clearly years. My family, I'm just so sick of it really. So, so sick of it. This double standards. And those double standards are what we call racism. My family, Keza said this, quoted what the woman who made William Cupcake said, your mother's feeding me a cakes. 
Keiza said that I imagine William says that often in Hofton Hall. Cough. As for they are not very good again. He went empty handed to visit first responders, overworked healthcare staffers, nurses, doctors, ambulance EMTs. Someone did something nice and brought some cupcakes for William. And his first instinct is to make fun of the woman's baking. William, we get it. We know what you have in the palace. We know that you, get, you have the best chefs there, making you the best foods, making you the best cupcakes in the world on the taxpayer's dime. We know it. We get it. But William, it doesn't cost you a thing for what's in your life to just be kind. Be kind for what's in your life. Be kind. William was not kind to Megan, her his wife. William isn't kind to the woman who, make, who made him cupcakes. Who showed him kindness? My family, that tells you exactly how members of the royal family view their subjects who pay taxes to keep the monarchy, to preserve the institution of the monarchy. And William's response shows the entire world just how he views them, how they all see them. And it's just so, so inhumane and kind and cruel, really. It's cruel. For once in your life, William, just say one thing. Thank you. Thank you. You know? My family, William is just behaving so, so badly. And allow me to read a couple of comments on this issue from members of the squad online. My family, although calling out the hypocrisy of the royal family is the sworn and sacred duty of a squadi, I have a lot of respect for emergency workers. That being said, how could they welcome William with a royal themed cupcakes during what they call a surprise visit? William is a liar. Now what happens is that the palace, meaning William's office, turns into a palace, briefs the press on what happened for PR purposes so that they, they can get PR for the press. That's what they do. And this clearly comes from William's office. From where the many leaks targeting Harry and Meghan are coming from, William's office, were briefing to get William good positive press. But clearly, you can see that even from the headline, it shows so many lies, so many lies being told. How can William visiting a hospital be a surprise when staff there were making him cupcakes? How? How? <laughs> you know, stop thinking that you know, the readers are fools. People have opened their eyes. People can see what is right in front of them. And my family, we continue to expose the many lies coming in from Kensington Palace, headed by Prince William. My family, now, a member of the squad only says that they, Kensington Palace, are good at lying. Now someone called Caroline said that so much of this visit does not add up. 
a nurse surprised her son at school with a video call from William who asked if they were working. They said no. The boy's mom said that they should be. Since when could anyone randomly video call their child during lessons? PR all the way. People are seeing it. It's PR. It's PR. Time and time again. Members of the Roe family are not being genuine. William is not genuine. And it shows he isn't being genuine. My family, someone called Susan said that, I know, my first thought, how did they know to bake roll themed cakes if it was a surprise? Because it wasn't a surprise, really. <laughs> it wasn't a surprise. You know, my family, this is just PR all the way for Prince William. That's what it is. PR, positive press. That's what they are looking for. My family, someone said that not to mention that nothing is ever a surprise because of security. Setting things up, someone said that because people there at the hospital must have been briefed that William is coming. That's what must have happened because security has been placed. So obviously they knew. So how can it be a surprise? More lies coming in from Kensington Palace, headed by Prince William. My family, someone said that after reading these lies from the media and palace, I decided if coping Harry and Meghan means William and Kate are forced to do more than ribbon cutting, then I'm for it. Why? Because know this, Lord Sumley, lazy couple, is allergic to work. So let's just enjoy the thought of the misery in doing performative acts. Someone <laughs> said that if it's a surprise visit, how can people know he's coming and prepare royal themed cupcakes? The palace lies, tablets lie as usual. Someone said that. Now, someone called Ray said that, right, it's a pageantry of work. Did he get the cupcake idea from cosplaying King Harry in Harry and Meghan Duke series? Someone asked that question. I was going to say the same thing. Nothing is a surprise with William. Indeed, it is not. The media honestly sucks at crafting a consistent narrative surrounding William. <laughs> My family, the only thing that happens in the UK even, they can't do PR for William. The only time they praise William over the past couple of years is only when they're trashing Harry and Meghan. And no wonder, when they attempt to do PR for William, it turns out to be performative acts being done by William. Lies and manipulation can clearly be seen, be seen and exposed. People have opened their eyes to the many performative acts by William, Kim Milton, and other members of the royal family, really. Now, someone called Stewart said that I was just thinking the same thing. Did the media run to the nearest bakery and buy them before he arrived? Or did the workers get an advance notice of his visit? Well, obviously, they got an advance notice of 
Williams visit. Someone said that, and very clear, really, it's obvious that they got an advanced message that William was coming. My family, someone called Hannah said that UK roles are fading away. Abolish the monarchy. They are not genuine. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Royal themed cupcakes just in time for a surprise visit. What a bunch of obvious lies, Robin said. You know, my family, this comms team working for Prince William <laughs> are, not, are not doing a good job for him. They aren't doing a good job for him. They're doing a terrible job for William 100%. A terrible, terrible job for William. And let them keep doing a terrible job for him. I'm all here for it. You know, they wanted the spotlight until even now they don't have it. When they pretend to do something because that's what they're doing. My family, they're exposed for their lies because they are not being genuine. William is not genuine. Someone called Ella said that, I say again, whoever is running the PR comms for the British royal family is either the most incompetent team ever known to the profession or they are setting them up to fail. In all my 18 plus years in this field, even as a rookie, I would never have done any of this nonsense. <laughs> Indeed, 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 indeed. The entire headline is a lie. <laughs> a lie. And from that lie also shows another liar. And someone also who's very, very rude. William. It shows he is not genuine in what he does. The family, let's keep exposing him. Prince William is a very rude and hostile person. Someone said that. My family, the royal family told Megan to be 50% of herself. For what? For this mediocrity? Because this is mediocrity. <laughs> and so much lies, really. So much lies. You know, how can you even... As a writer, even as someone who calls himself or herself a journalist, how can you go write an article saying Prince William surprises staff, hospital staff, with a visit and is welcomed with royal themed cupcakes and call it a surprise? <laughs> My family, I just laugh at this. You know, hypocrisy in full display. It's just too much. It's just too much, really. Someone else called Sarina even said that, OMG, I didn't know you were coming, but it just happened to have some raw themed cupcakes on hand, as you do. <laughs> People are seeing the lies, you know. People are seeing the lies, you know. The person who William hired is comms team. <laughs> My family, I hope he keeps him. This guy just embarrasses William, and I am loving this. I am loving this one hundred percent. Let him be exposed. Let William be exposed for the person that he is, an abuser, or someone who's very much not genuine. And also, as someone who is very disrespectful and spoiled, very, very spoiled, William, it doesn't hurt to say thank you. If someone does something for you, nice, that's nice. Say thank you for once in your life. Say thank you. You know? 
someone said that they are not doing announced visits because they're scared of the booze being recorded. Someone said that actually at William and Kate's visit recently, someone held up some signs and they were arrested for it. My family, people don't like them. William and Kate one bit and people want to abolish this this functional institution called the monarchy. It needs to just be abolished 100%. It needs to be abolished 100% for being very, very evil. My family, I'd like to hear your opinion on this, please, kindly. Someone said that, how gullible do they think people are? <laughs> My family, I can answer this question. If people in the UK can read tabloids and believe them as credible to give them news, when in different countries, tablets, people don't believe them one bit. It tells you exactly, you know, the market, the target audience intended for this kind of articles. People who are not, you know, smart or intelligent. People who are not clever, really. Let me use that word. You know? And no wonder they believe that people, those people are in need very much gullible. <laughs> but we aren't and we can see exactly what's happening my family we shall continue to expose the hypocrisy and lies coming in from Ken Sinton Palace head of Prince William my family what do you think about this kindly this headline in itself I'd like to hear your opinion on this please with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever growing family on YouTube. When Harry and Meghan left, fled the UK, the UK lost the only genuine members of the royal family. Senior members of the royal family. When Harry and Meghan fled the UK. Harry and Meghan are genuine. Kate and William, I can't say the same thing. And let's keep exposing them and their lies. Thanks to members of the squad for calling this out. You're doing the right thing. 100%. Because no one else will. No one else will. So we must do it. The air is protected by the palace. Even when he does unclever things. My family, however, we will expose him. We will expose William 100%. And he continues to be exposed. My family, please stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lil Bit, Dana, and Tony Laglin, and all of you members of the squad at home. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Let's keep calling out the hypocrisy and the lies. Stay tuned to our next video. Coming in from Prince William. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.